DOT leaders say it could take months or even a year to open the bridge back up. Inspectors say this dip is something they've never seen before. NBC26's Alex Hagan continues our live team coverage with what happens next. Stacy, DOT leaders getting to work right away, conducting an investigation into what may have caused this dip and how to repair it, something they say is going to take some time. The Leo Frigo Bridge, important to the city of Green Bay. Fixed as soon as possible. And the state's economy. DOT leaders say they have never seen a dip like this before. That's why repairs could take some time. We're doing an investigation to figure out that the cause and determine what measures we have to take to, um, to repair it. That investigation could also review similar bridges. Kind of looking at all aspects of this type of bridge. We're going to be going back through records, talking to people and looking at uh, some things that happened on other bridges to see if we can find any similarities. Two construction projects the past two summers on the Leo Frigo, something inspectors will take a look at as well. Doesn't seem to be a connection, but that doesn't mean we're not going to take a look at it. And today, an example for other bridges around the state. State leaders assuring the public this bridge is vital. Once we know the full details of what's required uh, to fix this bridge, we will fix this bridge. As the investigation into the dip on the Leo Frigo begins. Now, DOT leaders say the bridge is not considered structurally deficient. They also say they're going to check other parts of the bridge to see if they were affected as well. Reporting live in Green Bay, Alex Hagan, NBC 26.